story goes, little hope of bigger dreams. Hey, what's my pros? It's me, Gina, and in this video, I'm here with a wash day routine using all new products. And when I say all new, I feel like they're all new and very, very on the natural ingredient side. So that's a plus. But before we get into this wash day routine, if you have not joined our Smart Pro family, make sure you hit the subscription button as well as the notification button so you don't miss out any new uploads. And let's get into this video. So yeah, I asked you guys over on Instagram, um, what wash day routine did you want to see? Did you want to see a old faithful wash day routine? Did you want to see a wash routine where I'm using all new products? Or did you guys want me to do a washing style? And the results was very, very clear. You guys wanted me to do a wash day routine using new products. So that's what we're going to be doing today. That is what we're doing. So the products that I'm going to be using in this wash day routine is going to be the Chocolate Kinks and Curls. I'm going to be using the Cocoa Cream Bentonite Clay Wash. I've already used the Rasool Clay one, which I really, really like. I will link that so you guys can check that out. I have a separate review just for that. I'm going to use this one. This is actually a clarifying week for me. So I'm going to use this instead of my Suave Clarifying and hopefully... My scalp feels nice and clean and my strands feel nice and clean like when I use my Suave. And then I'm going to use the So Tanical Shibi Ginger Super Deep Conditioner with Shibi Ginger and Stimulate Herbs. I heard really good things about this deep conditioner. This is definitely a favorite of the So Tanical Deep Conditioners and people who love So Tanical. And then once I deep condition i'm going to go in and style my hair with the hydrothermal naturals aloe curl enhancing twisting cream and then i'm going to seal that with some of this nourish and shine restorative hair butter from jane carter so because i'm using this bentonite clay you're supposed to work it on wet hair so i do have my spray bottle and I'm just going to spray and i'm not gonna, like i'm gonna really spray my hair like i'm not gonna just like have it down I want it to, you know, easily apply just like you would that uh, Rasool Clay one. That's the only downside to this. So with my hair wet, I'm going to go in with this clay mask. As you can see, it is brand new, still has the... Lid. Mm. It smells nice and chocolatey. It's definitely on the uh, grayish side, whereas the Rasool Clay was more of like brown, and it's also a lot thicker. And just like the Rasool Clay one, this is one on really easy, really smooth. I absolutely love the chocolate smell with this. It smells so good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed this part up and play some music while I apply this to my hair. And then once I apply it, I'll come back because, you know, got to rub it into our scalp and kind of lift all of that dirt and impurities from our scalp. And so I'll come back once I've applied all this product. Okay, so now what I'm doing is just kind of massaging this clay into my scalp just so that my scalp can also be cleansed as well because this is supposed to act as a shampoo and it's supposed to remove dirt 
and toxins. So I also wanted to remove all that gunk and stuff from my scalp. Just want my scalp to feel all nice, light, and airy. And so I'm just scrubbing. I'm not using my uh, nails. I'm just using the fingertips. And I'm rubbing this. I've been doing it for about three minutes. So I think I'm going to stop. And this is what my hair looks like now. I'm getting a lot of curl definition at the moment. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rinse this out and then I will come back and try the deep conditioner so okay so I have just rinsed out that clay mask and y'all my hair feels so good like, oh my god it's so soft and look at this curl definition a like part of curl definition is because you know I got a fresh trim so my curls are popping but I know part of it is that clay mask because my hair doesn't feel stripped like it would, would if I use a shampoo. But my scalp still feels light and it still feels good. I like that clay mask. I'm going to have to compare that clay with the Rasool one and see which one that I like better. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply my deep conditioner. So now I'm just going to go in with the Soul Tanical Sheba Ginger Super Deep Conditioner. Our Sheba Deep Conditioner is excellent for healthy hair growth and length retention. This pH balanced deep conditioner cleans the scalp, moisturizes, and nourishes the hair follicles to grow. Ooh, this is thick. Oh, you can smell the ginger. Oh, I got distracted. Moisturizes and nourishes the hair follicles to grow long. Loaded with scalp stimulants, that this goodie will improve scalp circulation, reduce scalp inflammation, and overall and in healthy. Supreme healthy hair growth. It's gonna apply, and this is just going on as smooth as any Soul Tanical deep conditioner that I've used. I will say, Soul Tanical is that like one company where pretty much all their deep conditioners work. I don't think I've came across any deep conditioner from Soul Tanical that didn't work. I just don't know why. So I'm just going to continue to apply this to the rest of my head. Like I said, my hair just feels really soft right now. Like, wow. This is an amazing, amazing wash day so far. Hopefully these new products that I'm using don't make this wash day go left. Because right now... Everything feels amazing. I once felt I'm done with the defense. Throw back and climb over your fence. Hide to show, show you that I was a mess. So you were shrugging your shoulders. I'm closed off. That's what I told you soon enough everything started okay so with this deep conditioner all applied throughout my hair I'm just going to do my normal deep conditioning routine put some heat to this stuff let it penetrate my strands and then I'm going to rinse it out and then we'll come back with the styling part of this wash day using new products. So, okay, so I have just rinsed out that deep conditioner. And y'all, when I tell you this wash day right now is going absolutely amazing. Look at this curl definition that I have right now. Look at this. Look at this. This cannot be faked. Oh, this wash day is going so beautifully. So now I'm about to get into the styling products. I'm going to go off camera and then come back when my hair is almost finished done twisting up. But I'm going to use the Hydrothermal Naturals and then I'm going to seal with the Jane Carter Nourish and Shine. Just for time purposes, I think I'm going to do a braid out. You guys have seen me twist braid out all the time. 
And so I'm just gonna come back when the when I'm pretty much almost done, just for time purposes. So yeah, so I'll so what I'm doing is just taking a spray bottle because this hydro uh, thermo aloe curling cream, enhancing curling cream is supposed to be on like wet hair, and so my hair is kind of dried out. Um, I'm not using too much of it just because Buzz B. I don't know if you guys follow her. She told me a little of this stuff goes a long way. But look at this curl definition I get with this product. Look at that. Look at that curl definition. So I just apply that kind of detangle and then I just go in with the Jane Carter Nourish and Shine. Warm that up on my palm of my hands. And then spread that. It's really thick. So I don't even know if it's actually spreading. Taking that spray bottle. Letting that water kind of soak in. Then growing in with this cream. And this cream is really thick. I mean, this cream is like, it's not, it's thick, but it's like, lightweight it's hard to explain it it's not like creams that i normally use it has more of like a transparency type feel to it normally if this had custard on the end of it i'll be terrified to use this on my hair because normally texture things like this do not work well for me look at this curl definition but this is, it just goes on so, so well. I can easily see how you can get heavy handed because it spreads super, super easy. It's just like easy to just apply the product to your hair. It just spreads like absolute butter, especially if your hair is wet like the directions say. Now, the only thing is I am a little worried about how, is how the moisture is going to hold just because of the texture i didn't use a leave-in just because it says that you can kind of just use it straight up and so i didn't use a leave-in um it does say that like you could cut it with a oil so basically this was it's kind of like it says use an oil with their growth oil and then apply the product or you can apply the product after you apply oil after you apply the product essentially it's just saying do the lock method or the lco method just whatever works for you. So that's what I'm doing. Um, some of the ingredients in this aloe cream is water, cetyl alcohol, which is a good alcohol, um, aloe leaf juice, and some other stuff I can't really pronounce, so I'm not gonna even try. And then this curl, shine it is super super thick and you definitely kind of want to like let it warm up on your hand because it is like impossible to spread when it's like completely solid so just if you're interested it is a very very thick butter probably the thickest butter i've ever used but look at this curl definition that i'm getting so i am not mad one bit and then what i'm going to do is just let this sit overnight what i might even do is leave it in for a full day and then unravel it then in the morning when i go to work but then not get back on camera till the end of the day just so you guys can see how it held up from a full day um okay so there we are my braids are nice and juicy right now i am really excited about the results of this hairstyle really really excited okay so i came back on camera i really really needed to come back on camera because this wash day was absolutely amazing from beginning to end as you guys can see my hair look at these results like look at this definition that i got with those styling products like look at this now i didn't 
separate too much nor did I pick my hair just because I want my hair to last throughout the week and I can tell you guys now just based off experience knowing my hair that this hairstyle will definitely last me all week my hair is so moisturized like the shine is there it's moisturized to the touch but doesn't make my hands and hair feel all greasy I'm in love like this wash day will definitely be repeated and I can definitely go say that this is like one of my top five wash days like this was an absolutely amazing wash day I am so glad you guys told me to try new products I'm so glad I decided to make this combination of new products because hands down, this was amazing. So I didn't really get into much detail about this Hydrothermal Naturals Aloe Curl Enhancing Twisting Butter. The one thing I will say with this is a little of this stuff goes a long way just because there's a section in my hair right here where I felt like I was a little heavy handed and I could see little flakes. But I know it's just because I was heavy handed because I don't have any flakes whatsoever. And I will say that the flakes like it didn't like fall off like so I could I could just see a little patch where I used too much of the product. A little of it goes a long way. You definitely want to apply this to soak in wet hair because that will definitely prevent you from using way too much of it because it will go on it will glide on a lot better as my hair kind of got to the top it got a little more dry and i felt like i just went in just a little bit more instead of just using my spray bottle and making sure my hair was just a little bit more wet then i wouldn't have had those problems but this is a really really nice product but this was an amazing combo i feel like the nourish and shine was a great sealant it's really thick but it's not like greasy it's very lightweight, so it's not going to make your hair feel heavy or anything like that. My hair feels very lightweight. It has a lot of movement, and it just looks really, really good. This was a great wash day. So, yeah, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to thumbs it up. Um, let me know any other wash day videos you guys want to see. Let me know if you like this type of wash day. I find it's kind of hard to, like, film in a shower so let me know if you're okay with you know sometimes me doing wash day routines like this so yeah don't forget to leave comments down below let me know what you are interested in trying and i will see you guys in my next video bye so you really made it to the end of the video you the real mvp but because you made it to the end of the video i know you like my content so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other uploads also, make sure you check out these other two videos that I posted on my channel. And thank you guys so much for watching.